Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you build the platform so you can take your band training to the next level. So if you are interested in being able to replicate your favorite exercises that you'd be doing in the gym like this deadlift or this squat, you are definitely going to need the bar and platform to do that. If you haven't already seen it, I would definitely suggest taking a look at the description below for a link to my introduction video where I talk about everything you need in order to train like this at home. Whether you are an advanced lifter, an intermediate, or just a beginner looking to get into better shape, there is something here for you, and absolutely anyone can afford this simple system so you can take your training to the next level at home. So if you are interested in learning how to make the bar, check the description below where I have put a link to that video. So the first thing you are going to need to build the platform is going to be a cutting board. This is a commercial grade cutting board that I picked up online from Amazon. However, I imagine you can pick up one from various retailers around you. So you need to make sure when you pick up your cutting board that it is a 12 by 18 by one inch cutting board. You wanna make sure that you have the right thickness because it is going to be a lot stronger and it is not going to flex. There are many colors available. However, I just went with the basic white one as that was the cheapest option out there. So when you do pick out the cutting board, you wanna make sure it is a HDPE cutting board, which basically is short for high density polyethylene plastic, which is a very strong form of plastic. I have been training with my platform for a long time and I have not managed to cause it to flex, bend or break. This sort of plastic is incredibly strong and incredibly durable and you are not gonna to have to worry about breaking it. I don't think there's a person alive that would be able to break this with their bare hands or is even strong enough to be able to put enough resistance through the bands or through the platform in order to cause any damage to it. Now using a cutting board like this is absolutely vital because the number one enemy of your bands is sharp edges. Sharp edges can immediately render your bands absolutely useless, leading you to just toss them in the trash and waste your money. So I would definitely suggest not taking any shortcuts and trying to use a piece of wood or anything in place of this cutting board. Now keep in mind, this is available for well under $30. Here is a rough idea of what it looks like when it is done. I have been training with this particular one for quite some time. And uh, at the end of the video, you will be able to make your own as well. I'm going to show you very clear instructions and show you a list of absolutely every item that you're going to need to build this platform and demonstrate to you that absolutely any person can build this platform, whether you're really handy and have a ton of power tools or you are not very handy at all. Here's a quick overview of everything you are going to need to build this platform. The first thing is the plastic cutting board made of high density polyethylene plastic. This one I picked up from Amazon make sure that you do get the one inch thickness. Next up, you are going to need four hockey pucks. These are available at your local sports store. Next here, we have one and a half inch screws. Make sure that they are no longer than one and a half inches or they will penetrate to the second side of the platform. Only tool you're going to need is a screwdriver. However, if you do have a power drill or impact driver, do feel free to use that in place of the screwdriver. And lastly is some hockey tape. The hockey tape is used to prolong the life of the bands. You will wrap the sides of the hockey pucks in the hockey tape to afford an extra level of protection for your bands as the bands do frequently rub against the sides of the hockey pucks. All right, so now that you have everything you need to get this project underway, let's unpack our platform and get started. We are going to position our hockey puck in the corner. You want to make sure that there is absolutely no overlap so it does not stick out from the sides. And we are putting two screws per hockey puck to make sure that it doesn't spin around and it stays in place. You are going to want to put a good amount of pressure down into the hockey puck to make it secure on the platform. And here I am just double checking and sinking the screws a little bit below the surface of the hockey puck. Now moving on to the impact gun as uh, that is a much quicker way to do things. However, if you don't have one, not a problem. As I just showed you, you can use simply a screwdriver and get the same job done. 
Now remember to take your time here because you do not want to over penetrate the hockey pucks and go through the other side of the platform. You just want to sink these screws a little bit below the surface of the hockey puck so that it does not contact the ground and scratch up your floor. As you see here, there is our finished product and here is a close up of the screws below the surface of the hockey puck just as you can see you want it to be a little bit below and not flush with the puck as to not damage your floors moving on to our hockey tape here i am wrapping the hockey pucks with the hockey tape again this will prolong the life of your bands not absolutely necessary but very helpful as there is a good bit of friction against your bands when you are training with this platform and they do frequently rub against the hockey pucks and there you go. Now you get a close up and you can see exactly what it should look like when it is wrapped in the tape. All right, so there you have it. There is our platform all done. Did not take very long, did not take a lot of tools and was very easy and very inexpensive. All right, so I hope you found this video informative. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do have any specific questions or you would like me to create a specific video addressing a certain concern you have about training with bands, please do leave a comment below and I will do my best to address it. And don't forget to take a look at my video about how to make the bar. Link is in the description below. All right, so you're gonna have to excuse me. I have a heavy deadlift session planned for today and I am going to take the new platform for a spin.